Now I don't see no mine. Okay, well, I'll try to do it from here and look over. It'll even show up. All right, let's try this. Um, oh my god, no way. So, <laughs> this is going well so, well so far. Full circle since the introduction. So, uh, this is the, uh, the chat applet. Um, I'm talking about, again, just a radio station chat applet. Uh, you wouldn't presume they would have much security anyway, right? So uh, here we go. I'm going to, uh, oh, actually, I need to open up two of these guys. Uh, can anybody give me a real solution for this? <laughs> Somebody tell me when I'm on Firefox so I can't see it. Up, up, press F, that's a good idea. Am I close with the up? Yeah. Down, uh, up, <laughs> up again, two more, all right, now what, down, <laughs> you're all talking at once, I can't hear, can you see it? Down one. Hit enter. This is, oh, I feel terrible for blind people. Okay, so I don't need to do too much in this window. So this this guy's just gonna sit here. Oh crap. Anybody live in the DC area and know the junkies? No? Oh yeah? Good. Good. Okay, so I've configured my Java uh, my Java settings so that anytime a Java process starts up, it'll show me the console. Um, so here's here's a second user just sitting in the chat room, and I'll I'll show you why we needed that in a minute. Uh, that looks like a Java snoop. There we go. So this is the Java Snoop UI. Um, we have uh, videos and screenshots online uh, that will like walk you through the UI and stuff. I don't want to get bogged down in details. I just want to show you what it can do. You guys can look up that stuff later. So I hit attach process, and there's a bunch of different processes here. Um, and there's two applets running. So I'm just going to pick one of them. I don't know which one it is. And uh, here we can see at the top it says it's attaching. So what it's doing there is it's bringing all the classes that are in that target applet and bringing them into its own process for, uh, for analysis. So now we got the green stuff lets us know that it's working. So I don't know which one I intercept, uh, which one I attach to because it's running in two browsers. Uh, but I'll just, you know, we'll, we'll see when I do this here. So I'm going to hit add new hook. So this is, uh, this is probably going to be your, your cycle here. So again, you can browse through your classes, um, or you can uh, just type in classes. So if you type a class into the box, it'll show you all the methods, et cetera. But uh, I want to search for a function. Okay, I'm going to do what we did in the, in the slides here. I'm going to search for the word send. So I just typed in send and hit enter, and it went through every method in that other JVM and it, should, and, it, and it brought me back the results. So nothing about this has been hard so far, I hope. Um, now here will be a tricky part. So one of them says regout.exec. It's, it's, it's this one? One more down. Now I need to find my, find my mouse. That'll be easy. Really? It's at the bottom? Oh, there we go. Double click. Oh, wait. Did I get the wrong one? God. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, shortcut key would be good. Don't get smart. Um, here? Here? Okay, now it's the second one? Okay, so uh, is that checkbox checked? This is a lot of audience participation. I bet you didn't know it was going to be like that. So I've got this one selected here. And the UI is a little different from what was in the screenshots, but not a huge deal. Um, so I think print parameters is selected. So I'm going to hit the console button here so that uh, when that method gets called, the parameters will be dumped to the screen here. And uh, I'm going to hit tamper with parameters. Is that this one? This one? OK, so now that I've made those checkboxes, you know, all I did was check them. And now, just in the background, automatically, um, we have traffic. Look at that. So the server sends, uh, there's some kind of heartbeat protocol with this particular application. So we're going to see traffic maybe when we didn't do anything. So I'm just going to say accept changes because I don't know what that traffic is about. So I'm going to go, uh, and you can see what happened here. We got a byte array. Right, and we got, uh, uh, it, it's, I think the console says something about it. You probably got a tamper request that you can, that was logged. So now I'll go back to the chat applet. Um, I don't know if this is the one that we, we chose to intercept or not. So I'm just going to go and start to type a message. I'm going to hit the letter A, okay? And uh, apparently this is not the one we're looking for because that would have been intercepted. There's Chrome. So now I'm going to type the letter A. Good, nothing happened, right? And here's Java Snoop. So if we edit that particular screen, we'll see. If you look through the data, you won't find anything too amazing. Again, this is just a heartbeat. Tell the server, hey, I'm typing, so that other users see the message that this person's typing. So accept changes, accept changes. I don't care about that. And it's getting called a couple times. Um, so I'm going to disable the hook for a second. Did I do the wrong one? No, they're both disabled. Okay. So I'm going to type in four A's, right? Right? Five, five is fine. That's fine. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to tamper with parameters. Is this one? Oh, it was already checked. I need to go up here, right? Right, but now I want to check it again. Or no, is it, is it unchecked right now? Yes, it is unchecked. Unchecked. Okay, so now I'm going to check it again because I do want to tamper with the traffic now. Oh, I, I did uncheck that. Here? Right here? This is good. Yeah, it's good. Please don't walk out, please. No, it's going to get better. <laughs> so now I'm going to hit send. OK, and I should have got a pop up. And I did. So I got an opportunity to edit this data before it leaves the server. Right, and do you see, uh, you see anything there? Just the heartbeat? Crap, where's the other? OK, got a heartbeat there. Let's see if this has it. This, this has the data in it? OK, now I really can't see what's happening here. So I'm just going to type. Is this one of the letters? OK, I'm going to change that to, oh, I've got to change it over here. God damn it. Uh, this is, what, this is where, where they are, right? OK, so I'm going to change that to 42. So now that's a B. So I would normally do a little bit more, but since I'm legally blind now, all right, now I'm going to say accept changes because I like my edits. And uh, so that was sent off to the server. OK, so what does the user see in this window? This is, the, this is Chrome, right? So the user sees what they actually typed into the box because the client does prediction of what's going to appear in the box. They don't actually get that chat message back. So that's why we opened up Firefox. So if we look up here, does it say, this says B? OK, all right, that was really well done. <laughs> um, thank you. You guys, clap, clap it up for you. Clap it up for you. Thank you. 
Um, so we proved now that we could just jump into a process, tamper with the method call, you know, and uh, tamper with the, the parameters with the return value. You can print them out for analysis. We can pause the program. Um, now I'm going to show you something. You can also print out the stack trace. So that might also help. Um, the stack trace of you know, when that method got called in the thread. So I'm also going to show you, this is the, the coolest part I, I got to add in the last few weeks. Uh, job's new. Nice. So now I'm going to go down to manage JAD. How's that? Right here? All right, so is that checked? It is. And it's not? God damn it. No. Get out of my face. I can say accept changes and disable hooks so it stops bothering me. OK, now uh, I'm going to tell it where JAD lives. OK, and there I have a path to JAD. If you're not familiar with JAD, JAD is a decompiler. It's like one of the most popular Java decompilers um, out there. It's been around a long time. So now JavaScript knows where JAD lives. So let's tamper with parameters again. And we're going to see something, something cool happens. So I'm going to enable it. Right, that's enable now. Now it's unchecked. OK, so now it's checked again. I'm going to go into Chrome, mine Chrome. OK, and I got a pop up. Right? Now, this is just like what happened before, but check out what happens when I go to decompile code. Now it's showing me the decompiled class that the, of the method that I intercepted. So now, uh, obviously I'm not going to be able to locate it right now, um, but uh, it, you can browse through this, find your function, and you'll see the code that's in that function. So now you'll be able to analyze, you know, what, you know, how, in what way would you be, you know, your your changes would affect the the code path. So uh, it'd still be useful to have the other IDE, right? But you know, for having that quick visibility into the code that you're actually going to mess with right now, is I found to be really helpful. So um, we'll uh, we'll probably uh, say that's enough with the demo. Um, we have uh, lots of uh, videos and screenshots online and stuff for. Uh, you know, just getting started with Java Snoop, or whether or not you want to, uh, you know, figure out how to attach to processes, um, and you know, doing canary mode, and you know, we're gonna have a bunch of videos out there. We already have some up there right now, and screenshots that break down the UI to hopefully help you out. Um, we have a frequently asked questions. You know, hopefully we did everything that you would want. Um, and uh, if you guys have any um, requests, I I love working on this thing, so I'm I'm I'll. It'll probably be in the next feature if it's something cool. Uh, I have uh, one last slide, I think. Is this from current slide? Good, OK. OK, so there's a bunch of people that helped me out with this. Not only uh, you know, feedback, code, and you know, UI help, and all this kind of stuff. This is not a one-man project. All kinds of uh, people, uh, GDS help, beta tested. Um, yeah, so lots of people helped, and thank you to all the people who helped. Um, and here's the URL to get it, like I said, available today. YouTube videos and stuff all online. Uh, and if you have any questions, I guess now would be a good time to ask them. Question? So, with, uh, well, I wrote a very similar code using uh, JPMPI and C. Mm -hmm. Probably because you're executing natively. Yeah, and I was wondering, I mean, I would probably uh, support the, you know, native implementation for you. Yeah. The, the 1.6 attach API was just so much easier than yeah, the JVM TI. That, that's the reason I went. I'd love to talk to you about your tool, though, afterwards. Question? The class files as well. Yes. You can just, uh, there's another menu option that just says decompile a class, and you can just type a class in there, and it'll.